welcome to episode number 19B of the Electric Motorhome. I'm John French and in this episode we're going to deal with motor control of the DC motor and uh, heat problems and the alleviation of them. So let's get to it and enjoy. Thank you. This is the controller for the DC motor. And the way this is connected is that you put your battery negative there, your battery positive there. And then going out to your motor, you put your positive there and you put your negative there. These two guys here are attached to a potentiometer. So that controls the speed of the motor. And this this is the potentiometer here. I'll put that in a box and on the outside of the box we'll stick a one of these control knobs and this will fine-tune the speed of the electric motor which is attached to a pulley belt to the alternator so we can get the voltage coming out of the alternator exactly at 460 just by adjusting this. We open here. <laughs> Now this voltage controller, or motor controller here, they get pretty warm. And um, so what we have here is a thing called a heat sink. And you can see it's got lots of fins in it. And that is to carry away the heat from the motor controller. And the way it works is, you put this stuff called heat sink paste on the top surface of that heat sink and then you put your controller on there and when this heats up the heat sink paste will transfer the heat into the heat sink and that heat will escape through from the fins and this is usually mounted on a wall something well, it'll be actually be mounted something like that it'll be vertical so that the, the air comes in the bottom as it goes up it gets heated up by these fins and then continues out there by convection of course so that should keep the controller somewhat cool and if that doesn't we will add a fan it's getting cold outside it's getting really cold actually so now is a good time to put a quart of polish onto the paintwork because if you don't put polish on your paint, it's going to rust out and get bubbled and crack. So basically this is just like preparing for the winter, you know, because it's going to get even colder than this. So anyway, you just do a little bit at a time, just a small area, and once it's all rubbed in, then you take an old t-shirt, Take an old t-shirt of some description and just polish it off. See, so there'll be a thin layer of layer of polish on here. Look at that. Oh beautiful. See. And it'll be protected from the cold weather, I would imagine, because it's hard shell turtle wax. I hope it's not made out of turtles though, it's a funny thing. Okay, so that bit's done. Now any little scuffs or anything on the paintwork, just rub it down with scotch Bright. Just prepare the surface here, any little bits of bird poop or anything. Just give it a cursory rub over and that'll be fine. There we go. And also we've got to get up here as well. So, your surface before you put the actual polish on needs to be clean. Well, we've got this piece of flexible conduit here, and that's going to go on the alternator. And all we need is these three wires that just I happen to have in the garage. So that was great. Handy, handy, handy. See, 
you always put your, your wire in before you put that end on. Because if you put that end on before you put your wire in, the wire inevitably gets hung up on it. So this just makes it a bit easier. Yeah, see? Come on, guys, there you are. And the three wires coming from the conduit that go down to the alternator go up the side of this disconnect and terminate in the top three terminals. And they're colour coded brown, orange and yellow. And then once these guys have been put on, we're going to put the spark arrestor back on. Because this is 480 volts and you will get sparks. So let's keep it safe. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. And the next video will be putting the fan belts on and getting this motor to run and create electricity. I've sent off to eBay for the fan belts, so they should be here within a couple of weeks. And I'm really excited to see this thing happen. All right, thanks for watching and happy 2016.